Hey guys, Mapletel here. Today I wanted to try this little OC challenge I found. The template I'm using is by Icewing Calamity on DeviantArt. I'll leave the link in the description if you want to give it a go too. Let's get into it. So this recording is a tiny bit chaotic as I started drawing this just for me and realized it could be a fun video. This is why the sketches are already done and the line art for the first OC is started. I also lost the footage or forgot to hit record for one of them too. <laughs> My bad. Anyways, let's have a look at this template. The idea is you draw five of your OCs and then draw yourself. The categories are favorite OC, first OC, latest OC, easiest to draw, hardest to draw, and then artist. For favorite OC, that was an easy one. Now I love all my nearly 600 OCs, but I definitely play favorites. And the top of that list is Adara Pace. I created her based off of a dream I had during spring break of 2016, maybe a month after I started the story. I've adored her ever since, easily my most drawn character, and in the top three for my most written about. She's definitely a character I'd like to talk about more in my new OCs and lore series one day. Now first OC was a bit tricky. I had to decide if I wanted to stick to the current world I'm working on or get into even older stuff. I ended up doing the latter. Now I can't really remember my real first OC. I've been creating characters my whole life. But there are roughly five long-lasting and memorable worlds I've worked on. Only two being original stories. Let's work backwards. The Blue Kingdom original story is what all my current OCs are from and basically any I've made from the past eight years. Fun fact, it actually used to be very loosely based on Fire Emblem Fates way back when, before I made it into my own thing, which is where the inspiration for a couple of the races come from. Before that, there were two warrior stories, one with all original characters, but still canon clans. That one starred Minofur of RiverClan, and the other being canon compliant, but was the generation after Omen of the Stars that I created back when that arc finished. That story amazingly focused on Firefern, my OC before the name was used in the series. And I talked a bit about it in my very old Who is Mapletail video. In between those two stories was an original cat story, not warriors, that I restarted a couple times, set in a dystopian world where all the cats had evolved to be better suited to their new environment. I had winged cats, cats with fins and gills, cats with leafy backs for camouflage, and fire-based cats. Anyways, depending how fast I'm drawing here, it's probably pretty clear I'm not drawing a cat on screen. I chose what I think was my earliest big story, my The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess world. While I show a lot of my obsession for warrior cats on this channel, I have an equal love for Zelda. I probably fell in love with both series around the same time, middle schoolish. I remember being a kid wishing I could get a Triforce tattoo, begging my parents. And I did just that, days before graduating high school and turning 18. I just couldn't wait. <laughs> so the story. My huge love for the first single player video game I ever played, combined with my wild imagination, birthed an expansive story set in the world of Twilight Princess. And it all started with my self insert. I gave her the vibrant red hair that I wished I had at the time, and my favorite color, purple, for her eyes. She and all the numerous characters I inserted into the game meant the world to me, and I desperately wish I had written more of it down. Thankfully I have all the characters saved and their descriptions. And a rough timeline of events. It's probably the reason I'm so meticulous with my current writing. I don't want to rely on my shaky memory for anything. For my latest OC, that was the footage I screwed up. <laughs> Luckily I didn't have much of anything to say about them, as they are very new. But their name is Serpent's Sky, and they related to some of my favorite pirate OCs, Honey, Aya, and Alouette. Let's talk a bit about my easiest to draw OC. I chose Essen Hartley, as they are the character, outside of Adara, that I have drawn the most times digitally. They are also in my top three for most written about, and another OC I'd love to deep dive here on the channel one day. Though I did do a quick video where I drew them three years ago. Three years ago? Damn, I've been doing this for a while. <laughs> Anyways, I just think Essen is really fun to draw with their pretty color palette, multiple cute hair looks, fun fashion, and interesting piercings, 
tattoo, and scar. Others seem to think so too, as they are probably my most drawn humanoid OC on my art five page. Now, hardest OC to draw was hard to pick. I don't think I find any of my OCs overly hard to draw, and so many have never been drawn, so how would I know? I ended up choosing Kafel Starshade, though, for a couple of reasons. She's an OC featured on my family line, PMV. I picked her because her priestess outfit can be kind of intricate, her vitiligo spots can be kind of tricky to draw consistently, though I know they can move around so that doesn't overly matter. And I always need to look up reference images for the cats her family is based on, Asian golden cats, which is difficult because they are very rare and there aren't really many good pictures of them. But I've never drawn her in color and I kind of wanted to. I'd still like to draw her wife and one of her children that I haven't drawn in color yet either. Kafel did end up taking twice as long to draw as everyone else, so I guess I chose well. Let's finish off with that artist drawing. I don't draw myself as a human often, usually as Maple Tail, so I wanted to fit her in there too. I have both of them daydreaming about these OCs as I often do. It was nice to do a bit of an updated self-portrait too, though I was sad I wasn't able to include any of my newer tattoos. I did get my tie-dye scrunchie in there, so that's something. As difficult as I find it sharing about my OCs, I do like to do it in this format. And I like the idea of them living on in some form out in the wild and not just in my head. Gotta free the OCs. <laughs> Thanks for watching! This art challenge was super fun, and it was nice to look back on some of my really old character designing and world building. I'm a creator to the core, in a lot of forms, so I hope you enjoyed listening to a little bit of it. As always, I'll see you next Thursday.